Welcome to this video. This is the Bookkeeping Master on YouTube and this is the first video of a very short series of videos that will show you how to create a very simple basic petty cash spreadsheet using Microsoft Excel or a similar package. I'll go through the template very quickly with you and then I'll show you how to create it by going through a step-by-step -step tutorial. We have our opening balance of our Petty Cash account. There's space for the date of each Petty Cash transaction, a voucher number. For those of you who are new to Petty Cash, you should complete a Petty Cash voucher every time there is an expense. You would write the description on the voucher and the amount, and then the receipts would be stapled or attached somehow to the voucher and then that's used later on for auditing purposes or simply just to fill out this spreadsheet with accuracy. We have space for money in when money is paid in to Petty Cash. This is generally paid in through drawing money out of the bank but you could change money into sales if your Petty Cash only ever receives money through cash sales and then I have a number of expense codes. From my experience, Petty Cash is generally used for refreshments like buying milk for tea and coffee, postage, stationery, cleaning products. And then I have a other column at the end. Obviously, you can change these headings to fit your business. As each expense goes out, there is a total for the expense. The reason there's a total at the end is from my experience generally when people will spend petty cash and get a receipt they may have bought a few items in one shop. Some of them may be refreshments, some of them may be stationery. So you can break down the receipt into the correct expense categories and then have your total at the end. Each category is totaled at the bottom. If you're entering this information into accounting software, it's handy to have the totals at the bottom as this is what you would enter into your Sage or Cashflow, QuickBooks, etc. We then have a total money in or a total, or a total sales. If money is added to Petty Cash because of sales, and a closing balance for our Petty Cash account. We have a number of tabs down the bottom, one for each month of the year. And all we simply do is copy the template, post it the next month, and fill it in. And it's as simple as that. So let me show you how to create this Petty Cash template. Simply click on the link to the right for the first video in the tutorial.